A Massachusetts man says his mother was the victim of a social media scheme. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Gina Marini has the details on his warning for others and how you can protect your loved ones from online predators. What began as a friend request on social media has turned into a possible scheme. The victim's son reached out to Target 12, hoping to stop others from losing their money. There's no way I'm going to get the money back, but if, if I could have stopped her somehow, some way, that's, that's what I'm going to do. David Archer tells me he isn't sure when this all began, but says sometime in June or July, his sister received a phone call from the bank saying their 78-year-old mother had taken out a large amount of cash. It's got to be over 5000 right now, but I only can um, show proof of maybe twelve to 1300 Archer says his mother accepted a friend request from someone she didn't know through social media. He says it's unclear who this person is or where he's located. He was just saying he was trying to get out of Syria to go somewhere else. He's a doctor. Archer says the messages went from social media to email and then led to nonstop phone calls. We even went and brought in the police to come. A police lady uh, actually talked to him, told him to stop calling me. Archer says his mother was told to get gift cards, photocopy the receipt and the back of the cards, and then send pictures in a message. There's another one, another email saying what to do to go to the post office. Do not tell the postman what you're doing. What was she supposed so, to be sending him? Uh, money. In an email, a spokesperson with AARP Rhode Island says, quote, Americans are constantly victimized by social media scammers who ask for fund transfers. AARP also says when it comes to social media, don't friend strangers and report any suspicious requests. Archer says he had to change his mother's phone number and social media accounts to protect her. For a full list of ways to protect your loved one on social media, head to our website, WPRI.com. Gina Marini. Eyewitness News.